So I'm sure all of us who served in the military or some form of cadet force or something like that has seen hexi blocks. Now these aren't issued anymore to the military. I believe you can still buy them. Uh, it's mainly because of the, the dangers of the fumes from the hexamine blocks being used in confined spaces uh, is the issue from what I believe. But when we used to get issued these, in our sundries pack we used to get given strike anywhere matches or the old waterproof windproof matches. Now this one here was the old issue <clears throat> which I think is the best and then you had the new issue which I don't think is anything near the quality of this one. Also we used to get issued little book of matches. <clears throat> Again not very good kind of flimsy didn't really always work sometimes they were damp uh, quite frustrating to use so starting a hexi block with the standard issue matches just going to go through it so first of all we'll start with the, the new issue so I'll give it a strike Nearly. Right, it's now going eventually. But I've ruined Right. So I've got it going. As you can see there. <laughs> Alright. But you saw how many times it took me to strike with it. Not very good at all. Now if I were to continue striking with these now, my striker is going to be ruined. <clears throat> Again, this striker is pretty used. I might have another one somewhere else, but we'll give it a go anyway. This is the old style one. Straight away, bigger flame. Burns for longer, more intense heat. You can see there, the hex is on fire. So, just with the two matches, you can see that's a new one, that's the old one. They are level. You've got more burning time on that one, but it burned quicker compared to that one which has got a shorter kind of fuse on it, if you want to call it that, which burnt for longer at a more intense heat. So the old style ones, the brown ones, these ones here, are the ones to have. You see there, the striker is pretty battered. I've used it quite a few times compared to that one there. It's been used once. Different gauges. This is thicker than that one. And you've got strikers both sides on the old one. There. See that one there? And that one there. Whereas the new one, you've just got one side. This is the problem with cost cutting. Yes, you could argue it did start the fire. It did. But after how many attempts on the striker? Right? And also, the match was nearly destroyed. Now, if I needed to get it going in an emergency or if I was quite desperate I'd be pretty disappointed at that stage it was just you know luck I think more than anything I got that going whereas this one with confidence it got going straight away so that's where we are with Hexi now move this up a little bit So, the water test. Got some water. I'll use the same matches, the same strikes, just to prove. So, we'll go with the newer version first. Mm. 
keep getting it on there. Bloody thing broke. Let's try another one. Put light on there. No. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Just disintegrating in my hands. Right, let's see if it'll work on the newer strike, on the older one, sorry. Doesn't even like the older one. They're just rubbish. I can't even get it lit. Let's, for argument's sake, let's say we've managed to strike it. So you can see there, back to my earlier point, that's probably luck. Let's say I have got it lit. What's it like in water? So there it is now, burning away. Dunk. Oh, it's gone out. Okay, so. The older one, let's move these rubbish ones out of the way. So the older one. First time. I'll do the same. Dunk, still going. Dunk, still going. Dunk. So three dunks and it went out. Which, let's face it, is quite good. So, top tip. Don't buy these ones. Don't use these ones. They're rubbish. Get these ones, as you saw, took three decent dunks in the water and it went out near the end anyway. All right, so these are better. These are the ones to have. Going back to the hexamine lot then. So let's say you had no choice but these crappy pink ones, all right, and they all went out on you and then you remembered you had a fire steel on you. Now, same as the Ziploc, if I get them and do that, it won't start. But, if like always, increase the surface area, It will eventually take a flame as you can see all right and again you can dunk this in that water as many times as you want you can blow on it as much as you want it's not going to go out so yes again the ferro rod rings home avoid the pink ones where are they they're just rubbish as you can see again Try them out for yourself. This is this is a brand new packet I've opened today that's been in storage in a in a ration pack set. Them other ones I had, the older ones I've had for god knows how many years. 2002 they were made apparently. Anyway, just thought I'd share the love and just give you a bit of an insight into different types of matches and what to be careful of, and obviously how to start a fire with a um, ferro rod on a hexi block. Good. Thanks for watching.